So how do we get a simple cam mechanism like this to accomplish a task, like cutting? Let's start by going to New, Metric Assembly. So we're opening a new assembly. We go to Parts Library, and under Parts Library, I want to go to my Class Files and open up a folder called Scissor Cam. Double click on that. And I'm going to start by dragging in this base ground part. And I'll go back to my part library and I'll drag in the cam. And I'll add a relationship, this cylinder with this cylinder. And back to my parts library. And then I'll get the scissors moving and drag that into the window. And constrain this axis with this axis. Let's go back and mate this back face with this face. And I'll go to save and save my assembly as scissors. Now I could put a tangent constraint on the scissor handle and the cam, but I'm going to go straight out and add a motor. Rotational motor, select the cam, I want to revolve around this cylinder, and I'll hit finish. Now when I go up here to simulate motor, if I use physical motion, that should do the same thing. When this touches that, it should move it. So let's see if that's what works. Again, physical motion, click OK, and let's run this. So we see it moves it up, then it stops. It doesn't come back down. So let's go back and add a tangent relationship. We'll save our changes. Go back here to our tangent relationship and I'll select this outer edge of the cylinder. And then I'll get this inside face of the scissor handle. Now I'll go back to play, fit our view, and hit run. And now it maintains that relationship. What I'd like to do in a future example is have that run without the tangent relationship.